degrees of freedom so next three problems we are going to use these two formulas so these are the general formulas for n atom molecules so for n atom linear molecule degrees of freedom is given by 3 plus 2 plus 2 into 3n minus 5 so these are the three transitional degrees these are two rotational and these are vibrational now for n atom non-linear molecule translational are still three rotational are three one more than linear and vibrational is 2 into 3n minus 6 so we are not going into the derivation of that but just know that uh, these are the formulas so this on simplification becomes 6n minus 5 and for non-linear it is 6n minus 6 and also total mean kinetic energy of one molecule is given by f by 2 kt so 1 kt by 2 is the kinetic energy corresponding to 1 degree of freedom so for f degrees of freedom total kinetic energy is f times kt by 2 for example for a for a linear molecule the translational kinetic energy will be 3 times kt by 2 rotational will be 2 times kt by 2 and overall kinetic energy will be 6n minus 5 times kt by 2 now let's solve the problems so first problem we need to find the mean energy of a molecules if all the degrees of freedom are excited and what fraction of this energy corresponds to the translational motion so total energy mean kinetic energy for linear and non-linear we are going to find with this formula where degrees of freedom are given by this and this so for a linear molecule f is 6n minus 5 so total kinetic energy is 6n minus 5 kt by 2 similarly for non-linear kinetic energy is 6n minus 6 kt by 2 now what fraction corresponds to that of translational so translational as discussed will be 3 times kt by 2 so fraction will be 3 by 2 kt divided by total kinetic energy which is this so if you put those values here we will get the answer that these these are the fractions now next two problems so here we need to find the molar heat capacity of uh, such a gas in isochoric process and the value of gamma if the gas is diatomic linear anatomic and network anatomic so network means non-linear so we have already seen how we calculated the degrees of freedom so for linear molecules f is 6n minus 5 so for diatomic n will be 2 so this gives f is equal to 7 and in general case the degree of freedom will be 6n minus 5 and 6n minus 6 so molar heat capacity in an isochoric process is cv which is given as fr by 2 so we have already found the values of f so if you put those values here we will get our answers and value of gamma so gamma we know is 1 plus 2 by f so again if you put the values of f here we will get our answers next problem so here we need to find what fraction of heat transfer to the gas is spent to perform the work so this is an isobaric expansion so in isobaric expansion what fraction of heat is spent on work and what is this fraction in case of monoatomic gas so the fraction needed is work done upon heat that's what it is fraction of heat transferred that is spent to perform the work so fraction required is delta w by delta q and delta q we know is delta q minus delta u so now let's put the values so since it is isobaric expansion delta q is ncp dt minus ncv delta t upon ncp delta t so this is cp minus cv by cp which is 1 minus 1 by gamma and we know gamma is 1 plus 2 by f so when we put that we get 2 upon f plus 2 so this is the fraction so he has not given what kind of uh, molecule it is is it linear or, no, or non-linear so we will write both the answers so in case of linear f is 6n minus 5 
and in case of non-linear f is 6n minus 6. So we get our fractions. And for monoatomic gas, we know degrees of freedom are 3. So in that case, fraction is 2 by 5. All right.